You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, Asker Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviewers on YouTube? This is Ridge Red right here, and welcome back, guys, to a uh, long-awaited uh, uh, video series for you guys. More importantly, a uh, long-awaited uh, NASCAR Authentics Diecast review. I know I haven't done one for quite a while, but we've been waiting on Wave 3 and Wave 4 for about a good two, three months now, but... I guess it's safe to say that we finally got them in the retailers, and I was lucky to uh, finally acquire um, one of uh, one of these cars and many more. So I guess this is going to be the kickoff video to uh, Wave Three, and you guys probably already know one diecast in particular. I'm going to start this uh, this uh, wave of reviews, and it is going to be on probably the main reason why I'm a Ryan Blaney fan now, especially when Truex retires. It is going to be on the long-awaited diecast review of. Ryan Blaney's 2018 Menards Ford Fusion for Team Penske. Oh my god, guys. I am going to really just put a little disclaimer on this video that there is going to be some strong biotism in this review. For obvious reasons, God Almighty, this Menards, this Menards paint scheme is just beautiful. Some people might like it, but I am so glad that this is in the NASCAR Authentics Wave, guys. Plus, we got the return of the plastic hoods that is uh, making its, uh, I would say debut, but it's actually making its debut for 2018, guys. But it is returned. But the packaging is pretty usual, and we got the usual back as we can collect them all. And you can see right there, a lot of great cars in this wave. And uh, I even got cars from Wave 4 as well, guys. So we um, are going to get into this and many more. But let's go ahead and start the unboxing and official diecast review on the Ryan Blaney Menards Ford Fusion. It's all right, buddy. We got the highlighter car outfits box, and yeah, that's uh, a pretty appropriate name for this car because it's just beautiful. As you tell by my camera, um, you know that this car definitely, it's definitely picking up its brightness. But it is, I'm not kidding you guys. It's got that bright uh, neon Menards yellow, also known as Dangle yellow. It's a lot more brighter in person, guys. So my camera is going to do everything it can to uh, replicate it. But um, uh, I will one. I mean, well, first of uh, for we get into more on this diecast guys we're going to take a look at the little accessory that comes with this which is the plastic hood you see right there it is exactly um i i can't say it's exactly like the hood because we don't have dirt selling this but it is a nice sort of representation of uh what we're going to be seeing in the diecast so very nice uh, the 12 nice big and uh red i'm glad actually that the red numbers are on this not the white but i'm um, actually going to talk about that very soon as there's the back pretty uh you know a pretty nice accessory and i'm glad we got those back uh, for uh, 2018 but back to the diecast guys this is just uh, well <laughs> it's a beautiful car guys I mean do I guess say anything else about it okay I will um, as I'm gonna take a closer look at this nice Ford Fusion grill as uh, my backgrounds about to drop on me so uh, there goes the fail right there uh, like usual this car does not have the name banners which you know <laughs> we were never gonna probably have those back but regardless or not it's still a very nice looking car even if it's uh, you know somewhat inaccurate, but we'll never get inaccurate. We'll never get accurate diecast when it comes to NASCAR authentics. I mean, that's just how it works. But yeah, Lionel did a really, really great job with this car, guys. I mean, I know the rims definitely look a lot more darker, but because uh, they see right there that the rims are definitely a lot more of a darker yellow. But uh, you know that doesn't really bug me that much. I mean, I think that's actually what the car actually looks like from what I know. But one thing to know, guys, I really wish they brought back the red numbers, guys. Um, the Menard uh, scheme for this year has already had a huge overhaul on the changes. I mean, when he first ran this car at Daytona, by the way, uh, he also won the uh, the first Can-Am dual race in this car. So that was an amazing win. And I am definitely have that, I definitely have that car on pre-order and uh, expect a diecast view of that car when it comes out. So this won't be the last time we're going to be seeing this car, guys. We're just going to upgrade to that 124 scale when it gets... But I'm not planning to get the 124 car for this year because, you know, quality just sucks for this year and I'm not going to pay for any leads. So, yeah. But back to the diecast, guys. This is really nice. And um, what was I talking Oh, yeah. I was talking about um, how they changed the paint scheme of this car. So, this is technically the car they ran Daytona and could have been a good tender for the Daytona 500 if, uh, you know, <laughs> we all know what happened uh, for this year. So, pretty unfortunate. But, um one of these races guys we're going to see this car in victory lane whether it's uh the dex imaging car which he's been running a lot lately or the pbg car which we'll be getting in wave five i'm looking forward to review that car to uh, start off my ryan blaney collection but this one's definitely a great starter for any ryan blaney fans out there um especially myself who basically now it's just following guy it's now just following this guy because 
He's driving the Menards livery. Uh, well, paint scheme, guys. But, um, yeah, I, uh, the back to, uh, I'm getting soft topic about this car, but I, I warned you guys, this is going to be a pretty cluster review because I'm just uh, <laughs> really, really excited. I mean, there's a little blemish right there, but still looks really nice. Um, but, yeah, this is the car they ran Daytona, guys, and then uh, after a while, they went to red lettering, which... I did not like that at all. I mean, Menards definitely has always has not never changed that logo, but for some odd reason they decided to go with red lettering, and it just really just killed the paint scheme. And then they went back to the white letters, but then they decided, oh, nobody likes the red, so we're gonna even take the red out of the 12 as well. Big mistake. Well, it's not really a white letter; it's like a silver or a white. Can't really tell, but I don't like it. Some people actually kind of like it. I don't. It, 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 it's got to have the red numbers, and you guys probably like. Why are you getting so hard about the red numbers? Well, the die cast I'm about to show you for the comparison is not a NASCAR, but it is an Indy car that looks very, very similar to this car. And it's probably, if you guys probably do not get this already, this is the main reason why I am now a Ryan Blaney fan. They replicated the paint scheme from the Menards livery, guys. And you can see in my camera, uh, the, the yellow on the Menards Indy car for this year does look a little bit off so i do apologize for that actually it matches the uh, hood on the uh, background so that's pretty cool but uh these cars do have the same uh yellow tint so sorry if it looks like my camera is showing different uh, versions i guess it just wants to saturate one color and the other just makes it dull <laughs> uh samsung phones you gotta love them but yeah guys you can see right there the the paint scheme and the livery look it's exactly a cutout replica of what the IndyCar livery is, guys, and they've ran this livery uh, since a uh, twenty uh, um, since uh, twenty seventeen, guys. So, uh, which is really cool. Actually, I believe at the start of twenty sixteen, they actually did. So, my mistake. Um, but yeah, that's uh, if you guys want a good diecast comparison photo, guys, that is the way to go right there. So, uh, one little note, I, I would probably recommend doing, and David Land also point this out. I kind of wish Ryan Blaney was the twenty two because that would just be so perfect, guys. And plus, that's my age as well, twenty two. So. Clearly, you can see why I'm a Pagano and a Penske uh, and a uh, Blaney fan. Yeah, I know. I'm already going to hear the comments saying, oh, you're a bandwagoner. I'm like, yes, I will admit. This is the time I am a bandwagon because of this car, guys. But, you know, I, I, I'm i going to catch up and I'm going to, you know, uh, to, I, I've seen Ryan Blaney, you know, he had the Sensor Truck Series. So, uh, well, who hasn't, right? <laughs> but, man. Definitely going to be following him a lot more, and I think this is the guy I'm going to go for once Truex retires. Won't be for another few years or so, but, man, I, I, I really just don't know what I'll say about this car, guys. I'm excited for the PPG car. I hope we get a lot more Ryan Blaney diecast to come out very soon, and hopefully we're going to see this car in victory lane um, in an actual race very, very soon, guys. Um, I'm hoping he drives this car at Walker's Glen, because if he does, then you bet your rear I'm going to be uh, ditching the Truex gear for one year to have Ryan Blaney there <laughs> um, with the because I already got all the Menards gear but um, wow I need to saw a topic in this video guys but overall would I say this is a go out and get absolutely 100% guys I mean as you can tell I'm a huge Menards fan I mean let's go ahead and put all the Menards cars right here just to show that I may not be a bandwagon I mean look at this guys we got uh, <laughs> I love collecting Menards cars guys I mean look at this guys just so, if you love collecting the Menards uh, cars, I recommend getting this, alright, because it goes well, very well, and if you guys are wondering what all these diecasts are, well, three of them are Indy cars. We've got the two signed Paginos right here, 2017 and 2018. Ryan Blaney's, of course, Ed Carpenter's uh, 2008 slash 2009, I believe, 2009 Menards, and the Paul Menard car from last year from NASCAR Authentics Wave 3. So, yeah. With uh, that in mind, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, NASCAR Authentics Diecast review on the wonderful Ryan Blaney uh, 2018 Menards Duracell Ford Fusion. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, guys. So please give it a good comment, like, subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys in the next NASCAR Authentics Diecast review.